North Korea's missile test may have been conducted to send a strong message to the U.S. and Japan as President Trump and Prime Minister Shinzo Abe were holding a summit at the time of the launch. While it's not uncommon for Pyongyang to carry out a provocation at this time of the year, Seoul's top nuclear envoy and his U.S. and Japanese counterparts got together to immediately discuss appropriate response measures. For more on the possible motive behind the provocation, Hwang Ho-Joon reports. There are several possible reasons why the regime chose to launch a missile on Sunday. For one, it has a history of using provocations to mark key anniversaries, such as the birthday of its late leader Kim Jong-il, coming up in a few days. Its third nuclear test came on exactly three years ago. But experts say North Korea may have seen an extra excuse to lash out, given the state of geopolitics and a key diplomatic summit that took place this weekend. As you know, the U.S. has Donald Trump as its new president. China and the U.S. are butting heads. Russia is a loose cannon. And the U.S.-Japan summit is taking place as we speak. Pyongyang's missile launch is a message about all of these things. The missile was launched a day after President Trump confirmed America's commitment to the security of Japan during the summit meeting in Palm Beach, Florida, with Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. In a joint press conference with President Trump, the Japanese leader condemned North Korea's actions. North Korea's most recent missile launch is absolutely intolerable. North Korea must fully comply with the relevant UN Security Council resolutions. Thank you very much, Mr. Prime Minister. I just want everybody to understand and fully know that the United States of America stands behind Japan, its great ally, 100 percent. Thank you. Meanwhile, South Korea's representative to the six-party nuclear talks, Kim Hong-kyun, held separate telephone talks with his U.S. and Japanese counterparts, Joseph Yoon and Kenji Kanesugi, respectively, and discussed ways to deal with the latest provocation. According to Seoul's foreign ministry, the three nuclear envoys agreed to work closely together to craft a coordinated response based on the understanding that a strong response is needed given that Sunday's missile launch was Pyongyang's first provocation this year. Hwang Wo-jun. Arirang News.